Sup R ask Reddit? Your consciousness is sent back to when you were at age 15, and you maintain all of your current knowledge and experience. What do you do? Honestly just the knowledge that lots of the 15 year old me was agonizing over and worrying about ultimately didn't bring about the end of the world would help. I'd know which things to stress about and which ones I could let go of. Just know that eventually everyone's face is a blurred memory. There was a girl I met in high school that I'm so head over heel in love with. Literally fill 80% of my brain every time I waking up for 3 years of high school. I can't even remember her face now 7 years later. The first part of my brain would be time to be the popular guy who makes it with the ladies, shortly followed by oh god I still don't know how to be a flirt of any kind, followed by oh wait, these are all 15 year old kids. This is now super weird. Then I don't know, just find a way to buy stocks in Google. 15 year old me is in 2015. The only thing to buy is Bitcoin. 90s. I have to wait on stocks and really wait on Bitcoin and try and remember who won major sporting events when. The Cubs win the series. I don't remember what year, so bet everything on the Cubs every year. I was wondering if someone was going to point out how weird it would be to have an adult mind stuck in a child's body. Who would want to do anything with children? Just listening to their conversations day in and day out would be torture. My friend went back to secondary school at age 24 in order to get qualifications for uni setup, she was ill as a teenager and had to drop out. The amount of empty teenage drama she came across was painful to witness. Lifelong friends, breaking up one day and reconciling the next. Clicks in constant flux for the dumbest of reasons. Intense but stupid romances. Seeing bullies for the pathetic creatures they were and not being held back by any kind of school perspective that gave them power. Apparently it was sad yet liberating to see, and she spent her remaining time there trying to stay as uninvolved as possible. I was in my freshman year of high school, I'd go back and relive those years being completely and totally myself like I should have done way back when. It's hard to live like yourself when you are still finding it. It takes those awkward years to fully grasp who you are and is an important step to self-realization. You should be that unsure when you are that age. Hell I didn't begin to know who I was until sophomore year in college. I'm still pretty much figuring it out. I'm in my 40s and my sense of self is better than it's ever been, but I'm still figuring some stuff out. If I could go back to high school as a 15 year old while retaining the level of idgap that I have achieved now at 45, that would be magical. I would rule that school. And ironically, you wouldn't really give a f about ruling it. Man, life really gets you coming and going, doesn't it? Buy up domain names and sell them after internet gets more mainstream. I remember reading that FB.com sold to Facebook for about $7 million. Not bad. And Bitcoin. I would get all the Bitcoin. Buy Amazon stock. A lot of it. And then start a long-term friend zone relationship with Mackenzie Scott only to bide my time. In 2021, that's when I make my move to finally kick our relationship to the next level. I forget some people were 15 before the internet got popular and not just 4 years ago. You and me both. I call Sony.com. I have a strange urge to maintain personal websites called Spotify, Netflix, Reddit, YouTube and Pornhub. They would just come up with other names, right? Porn Pub. Take better care of my teeth. Edit. Wow, thanks for the awards. Looking back, I wish it had been explained that cavities were growing holes in my teeth, and not something invasive like a bacteria. A million times yes. Knowing about acid erosion as well as tooth decay would save a lot of future pain and dentist bills. You know, gingivitis is the number one cause of all tooth decay. Me too. I do now, but 15 year old me hated flossing. 25 year old me still hates flossing but every time one of these types of questions appears on reddit I see the same dental care answers and it keeps me going weary. Don't date my first girlfriend. Try to maintain friendships while moving. Take college more seriously. Buy Bitcoin. Hug my grandparents more often. Whenever I read comments like this I'm always terrified to be the girl guys regret dating, like I have good intentions but I'm useless lol. Should be noted that many of those early relationships we shouldn't have had don't always have anything to do with the partner being crazy, etc., but with one or both being too young and immature for a relationship. I have a friend that has a weekly call to his grandparents and I'd do that.
At one point, I had a 45 to 55 minute commute home from work, in the early morning, the commute in was only about 35 minutes. I got in the habit of calling my grandpa once a week during the time. We often didn't talk long, but that didn't matter. I recall at a birthday party for him that he introduced me to some friends as the grandson, who calls me. I am not sure I had ever felt more proud from anything he had ever said than I did at that moment. He was one of my heroes growing up and still is even though he is no longer with us. I have a huge extended family, around 150, and after my grandpa died I wrote to my grandma on a fairly regular basis. One day when I got to visit her, she told me that me and one other cousin were the ones that wrote to her the most, and said, you've always been one of my favorites. That of course made me cry, but I thought she's my sweet old grandma, she probably has said that to all of us. Sometime down the line I repeated both of those things to my sister and she said, yeah, she told me the same thing, that you've always been one of her favorites, smiling face with hearts I miss her so much. Be single and lonely for a while. Holy sh**, do I not want anything to do with most high schoolers. Yeah a lot of people have remarked on the creep factor of being an adult in a kid's body dating kids and that's 100% true. But even aside from that I just can't imagine remotely wanting to even be with somebody who looks or acts 15, or even 18 after waiting a few years into the hypothetical. Edit, of course my most upvoted comment would be about time travel creeps. I'm just glad it's anti. I live in a college town and the students look like actual children to me now at 31. Yeah, I remember thinking I and my friends were totally and obviously adults at 18. A while ago, I'm now in my 30s, I went to a university open day and found myself looking at all the 18 year olds there like who let all these children into this university? It is the completely opposite for me. When I was 18, I was thinking, wait, I am still just a kid. These 22 year olds look like adults, then I turned 22 and looked at 25 year olds and thought of them as adults. Now I am 29 and I still don't feel like an adult. Maybe it's just because I don't behave that way. But I am also kind of happy about it. I am 40 now, with two kids, and I just realized my adulthood when I couldn't decide if I was more excited to get my Roborock S7 or my Ryobi electric mower with bagging to trim around my gardens in an effort to stop my husband and kid from getting lawn clippings on my mulched areas. They're both coming the same day and my excitement is beyond words. I kind of feel that. I'm 29 and I got a tiny bit excited buying shallots at the supermarket. Focus on high school a bit better, try and keep in touch with my best friend at that time a bit better after she moved across town, talk with my dad more about family and stuff, apologize for being a little sh** in middle school more. Figure out my major a lot faster. I'd actually focus less, I was the kid that broke myself just for a small edge into college. I really could have been more well-rounded person, with less breakdown levels of stress. I was that guy who coasted through HS with little effort to get high marks. When I got to college, I was quickly cut down by the AMT of work required that I just didn't know how to do. I think I'd take school more seriously, just to develop the necessary work ethic. In fact I'd take school teachers and administration less seriously. I obeyed every word of theirs just to look good in their eyes, which did me no good. Well, knowing me, I don't make the stupid choices I made for the past 31 years. But also knowing me, I would make totally different stupid choices. Because I'm human. Just because I could now avoid the traps I had fallen into back then, this does not mean I would not fall into different traps. But hopefully the sum total would be a better life. I know there are career changes I would make. There are financial decisions I would do a better job with. For instance, on the day I graduated college Apple stock sold for 15 cents a share. If I had bought $5,000 worth of Apple stock that day, I could sell that today for $4.6 million. So there's that. Best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. Second best time is today. First I'd break up with my girlfriend at the time. 1. It wasn't a good relationship, both of us did some f***ed up that only inexperienced people would. 2. I would be 25 in mind and she'd be 15. I would be 25 in mind and she'd be 15. Gah holy hell I hadn't considered that. Now, think about all the crazy popular, romantic vamp fiction that has 300 plus yo dudes hanging around in schools. And try not to vomit. 1. Good dental hygiene, floss, brush twice a day always. 2. Make exercise a part of the day, it is harder to get this into routine as you get older. 
Plus the fitter you are when you're younger, the more it will tide you through when older. 3. Continue pursuing things that I find interesting, even if I'm not and will never get good at them. It is wonderful to have things to enjoy for the sake of it. 4. Be nicer to my parents, especially my mom. It is a lot of responsibility, and they did their best. 5. Take feedback and criticism in stride, and not let every negative thing make me question everything. Edit, this is my most upvoted comment eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee